Hello, this is Dee with CrochetTalk.com bringing you another video tutorial. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to make an owl eye mask. This is a nighttime mask that you can put on your face when you fall asleep at night or during the day. This is what the back looks like. And again, here is the front. And for this project, what you will need is a yarn needle, some scissors, some elastic cord. I'm going to be using an H hook, also known as a 5.00 millimeter. And you will need five different colors of yarn. I am going to be using yellow, blue, pink, orange, and white. To get started, I will be using my white. Picking up my H hook, starting with a slip knot, I will be chaining 29. So to start, you, you want to hold your yarn, twist, pull the longer piece through, slip knot made. At any point in time, if I'm going too fast, please feel free to pause the video, rewind to catch up. And um, let's get going. So I'm going to chain 29. Here we go with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29. Next what you want to do is single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So here is the first chain. You're going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook. Single crochet made. And then you're going to single crochet in each chain across. So into each chain all the way across, you just want a single crochet. So here we go with the second single crochet. Single crochet again. making sure to go into the top of the chain and then just continue this all the way across and I am going to meet you at the end go ahead and pause here here I am at the last few chains I'm just going to continue with my single crochets into the chain there's one two and my last chain here three now what you want to do this is what it looks like. Now you want to just chain one and turn your work. Now you're going to single crochet in each stitch across. So beginning in the first stitch you're just going to single crochet and you're going to continue that all the way across to the end. So just single crochet in each stitch across. There's two and you will have a total of 28 stitches. There's four, five. Go ahead and pause here and I will meet you at the end. Here I am at the end of row two. I just have a few more stitches to go. I'm going to continue to single crochet across to the end stitch. And one more single crochet. This is what it'll look like at the end of row two and you should have a total of 28 stitches. Now for rows three through seven you're going to just repeat row two. So right here you just want to chain one, turn, and now you will be working on rows three through seven and you're just going to repeat the single crochet all the way across to the end. I'm going to go into the first stitch and do my single crochet. There's two, three, four, and five. Now you can go ahead and pause the video. I am going to work my rows three through seven. 
I will meet you at the end of row 7. Here I am at the end of row 7. Make sure that after each row, that you, after you turn, that you are chaining 1 and then you're turning from rows 3 through 7. Here I am at the end. of row 7 and I just have a few more stitches to go. There's 1, 2, 3, and 4 for a total of 28 stitches. From here now we will be working on the eye covers. You want to um, finish off the yarn here. So grab your scissors. And you just want to leave a, a small tail, not real long. And you're going to finish off by pulling through and pulling tight. Okay, from here you're going to turn your work. You're going to count six stitches in. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're going to join your yarn into the sixth stitch. So you want to Grab your, the same color of the white, you want to grab your yarn, pull it through, chain one to secure it, and then work a single crochet into the same stitch. So one single crochet. Pull your tail. You can work over your tail now. So in the next stitch you want to work seven single crochets. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and if it feels tight just pull them over a little bit. There's six and seven. Still working over that tail. And then now you want to single crochet into the next stitch, which is here. So single crochet, and then you're just going to turn. Now what you want to do is single crochet into the first stitch to the right in the base of the eye mask. So you're going to work to the right, you're going to put your hook into the stitch on the base. So it's going to be right here, and you want to work a single crochet. Now you're going to work in each stitch across, working to the left again. So now you're going to go into the first stitch here. There's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine into this end stitch here. This last stitch is going to be a little snug. You just want to catch the end of it as best as possible. Now you want to work into the next stitch on the base, which is the stitch here. You want to do a single crochet. And then you're just going to turn. And you just want to repeat that. So now you're going to work into the next stitch on the base of the mask, which is on the right side. You're going to single crochet into that pull through, single crochet, and then again you're just going to single crochet in each stitch around. So beginning in this stitch here, you're going to single crochet, again into the next stitch, single crochet, and just single crochet in each stitch up and around. Now 
And basically you're just going to keep repeating this until you even up on the side of the mask. And now you have the end stitch here to go through. Again, this is a really snug stitch. You may only just pick up one piece there and that's fine. It's not going to matter. Just get your hook through. Even if it is the one loop here, that's perfectly fine. You want to single crochet in that and then single crochet into the next stitch on the base of the mask, which is right here. And again, my tail is still here, so I'm just going to continue to single crochet around it. Now, you, again, you just want to turn, single crochet to the right, into the stitch on the base of the mask, working around that tail. You're going to pull through and single crochet. And again, repeat up and around the mask. Here we go with just single crochets. And if you need to pause the video at any time to catch up or to repeat this or rewind it, feel free to do so. And we'll just keep going around to the other side. Almost at the last few stitches. Continuing with my single crochet. And again, you want to pick up one loop into this end. It's kind of snug again. So I just push through with my nails, picking up one loop, doing a single crochet, and then again into the next stitch on the base of the mask. You want a single crochet. And again, you're just going to keep turning and continuing that until you get back to the end to where it's even here. So I'm going to turn. I'm going to single crochet into the right the base stitch on the mask and then again single crochet in each stitch around continuing with my single crochet You don't want to do this too tight because it'll bunch up, but don't do it too loose so that way there's not big holes in it. Here I'm at the last few stitches around. I am into the end stitch that's snug. Again, I'm going to use my nail to pull up one loop. And single crochet in there. And then again, single crochet into the next stitch on the base of the mask. And I'm done with this tail here. I can go ahead and cut that off. Get rid of that. I'm going to turn. Again, single crochet into the stitch to the right on the base of the mask. And then single crochet up and over and around in each stitch. Coming around to the last few stitches on the eye patch. Two more to go. Here's one. And then again, catching the loop, pulling it through with my nail. Catching the loop, single crochet. And here you are able to work into your last stitch. So you're just going to single crochet into the last stitch. And then finish off here. So just cut off a tail, pull through, and secure it. And so far this is what your mask will look like. You have one I made. So 
So what you're going to do is you end it up on this side. So you're just going to pull your mask over to this end. You want to repeat that same thing that you just did over here. You want to repeat over here. Starting in the corner, you want to count six stitches in. So here's my first stitch here. Oops, here's my first stitch. That counts as one, two, three, four. Let's try that again. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're going to attach your yarn into the sixth stitch from the right side. Again, you want to get your new piece of yarn. You're going to pull it through, chain one to secure, and then single crochet into the same stitch as join. Again, you want to work seven single crochets into the next stitch. There's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one single crochet into the next stitch. And then now you can rewind the video and go back to the first eye patch made and then meet me at the end of this second eye patch made. I'm going to go ahead and continue to work this si right side and I will meet you at the end. I have completed the second eye and this is what your eye patch or your eye mask should look like right now where you have finished both sides. In between the eye for the nose area here you should only have two stitches in between and this is what gives you the nose area. So this is what you should have now. Now with the right side of your mask facing you, you're going to edge it in yellow. You just want to uh, join in any stitch up at the top. I usually go towards the middle. I'm going to join here and I'm going to work with my yellow. So get your yellow. And to join you just want to grab your yarn Put your hook through, hold your yarn here, pull through, chain one to connect, and then single crochet into the same stitch as join. You can pull your tail, tighten that up. Now all you're going to do is just single crochet in each stitch across over to the corner stitch. So here we go, just single crocheting in each stitch across. I'm going to continue this and I will meet you at the corner. Go ahead and pause the video now. Here I am at the last few stitches from where I joined to the end. Just going to continue with my single crochet. Here I am at the corner stitch. Now what I want to do is put three single crochets into this corner stitch. So I'm going to do one, two, and three. Now what you want to do is just work evenly spaced one single crochet across here, one single crochet around, then you have one single crochet in each stitch here, again a single crochet around, evenly spaced on the edge a single crochet, three single crochets in the corner, and then single crochet across to the beginning. So again, that was three single crochets here, now evenly spaced across the side of the mask. I'm just going to single crochet into the space here, into the space here, space here, the space here, again right here, and here you are into the top of the eye patch and you just want to single crochet there. Now you're just going to continue on and single crochet in the top of each stitch around. I am single crocheting over my tail to tuck it in. 
so I don't have to weave it in later. You do not have to do that. You can weave it in later if you feel better about doing it that way. I like to work over it because it makes it a whole lot easier and you don't have to go back. So I just hold it along my work and crochet around it. Continuing to put one single crochet in the top of each stitch here. Coming around to the nose area. One more stitch in here. Now you want to do one single crochet where it connects here. There's a space, a hole here. Go ahead and do one single crochet in there. And then you have two stitches here that you just want to put one single crochet in. And again, where it connects, you have your stitch in here. Go ahead and do one single crochet in the same stitch. Now again, working in the top of each stitch around, do one single crochet, evenly space one single crochet here, putting three single crochets in the corner, single crocheting across to the beginning. Go ahead and pause the video here, and I will meet you in the last few stitches here. Here I am at the last few stitches across the top of the mask. I'm just going to continue with my single crochets. And I have one more to do. And now I just want to join my yarn. I'm just going to join into the first single crochet here. Just push my hook through. I'm going to pull through and then pull through. And then go ahead and cut off your yarn. And then secure it. Finish it off. Pulling tight. And this is what your eye mask should look like. It might be a little bit crinkled up at first, but you just want to lay it down, flatten it out, turn it around, flatten it out. And this is what your eye mask should look like. Now you can leave it you can leave it like this. You can even get creative and put some fabric on the back side of it. You can leave it this way or you can continue on and add the owl face to it and that's what I'm going to be showing you next in this tutorial. We're going to start with the eyes. You do want to make two. You do want to use um, the pink for the eyes. Grab my yarn. Get the end of it. Now, to start your eye, you want to chain three. So you're going to start with a slip knot, twist, pull the longer piece through, slip knot made. You do want to chain three. There's one, two, three. You're going to slip stitch to the first chain to form a ring. So you're going to skip this one, this chain. You're going to go to the first chain, slip stitch, pull through, pull through. Do that to form a ring. Now, what you want to do is chain three. I'm, I'm sorry. What you want to do is just single crochet six times into the center ring. So you're going to just go right into the center. And there is a big hole here from, from joining it. But you do want to pull it open and find that center right in the middle. You want to pull through and do one single crochet. And then repeat that five more times. There's two, three, four, five, for a total of six stitches. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Now you want to join into your first stitch, into your first um, single crochet made. You just want to join. And you will have like a hole there. You can pull this tail and close it shut. And then just continue to work around your tail. Now you just want to chain one. And then you're going to work two single crochets into each stitch around. 
and you are going to begin into the same stitch as the join. So you're going to work two single crochets in the very first stitch working around your tail. There's one, two, into the next stitch, working two, there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So you want a total of twelve stitches. That was two single crochets in each stitch around. You're back at the beginning and you just want to slip stitch to the beginning and you want to join. So there you have that. Now what you want to do is chain one you want to work a single crochet into the same stitch as the join. So you're going to work one single crochet and same stitch. There's one. And then you want to work two single crochets into the next stitch. One, two. Single crochet into the next stitch. Two single crochets into the next stitch. There's one, two single crochet into the next stitch and again two single crochets in the next stitch and you just want to repeat that all the way around one and one two one and then one two Two more stitches to go. You have one. Now two single crochets into the next stitch. Now you want to join. Chain one. Single crochet into the first stitch. The same stitch as the join. You're going to single crochet. Single crochet into the next stitch. Two single crochets into the next stitch. There's one and two. Again, one single crochet into the next two stitches. So you got one single crochet here. Another single crochet into the next stitch. And two single crochets into the next stitch. There's one, two. Again, you want to do one single crochet into the next two stitches, two single crochets into the next stitch, and just repeat that around. We go with one, 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 two. And I'm going to continue that around. Go ahead and pause the video here and I will meet you at the end. Here I am at the last few stitches. I'm going to single crochet into the next two stitches and then two single crochets into the next stitch. Now you want to join into the first single crochet made. Join. Chain one. Now you want to single crochet into the same stitches. Join. Single crochet into the next two stitches. So one and two. And then two single crochets into the next stitch. One, two. Now you want to single crochet into the next three stitches, two single crochets into the next stitch. Single crochet into the next three stitches, two single crochets into the next stitch and repeat that around. So here I go with one, one into the next, one into the next, and then two in the next. One, two. One single crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, 
two single crochets into the next stitch. Again, repeat that around. Go ahead and pause the video here and I will meet you at the end. Here I am at the last few stitches. I'm going to single crochet into the next three stitches. Then I'm going to single crochet two times into the last stitch. So here we go with one. Again one. Again one. And then two single crochets into the last stitch. You want to go ahead and join into the first single crochet made. And then you want to finish off. So go ahead and cut off. And this one you want to cut, let's see, just a little bit. You don't want to cut too much. And then just pull through and secure tight. You're going to repeat the other eye. And then once you have the second one made, go ahead and pick up one. You're going to attach the white into any stitch. Grab my white. So I went ahead and stuck my hook through and it doesn't matter what stitch, just any stitch on the edge of the eye. You want to attach your white. So I'm going to hold my white there. I'm going to pull through chain one and then single crochet into the same stitch to secure and now again I'm just going to be working around my tail and I am going to do one single crochet in each stitch around so working into the next stitch you just want a single crochet and continue that all the way around I'm just gonna do that you can go ahead and pause the video here I will meet you at the end of the round here I am at the last few stitches on the edge. I'm just going to continue to single crochet in the top of each stitch. Two more stitches to go. One more stitch. And now I just want to join into the beginning single crochet I made. Just join with a slip stitch. And now we're going to work on the eyelashes of the owl. So from here, you just want to chain four. There's one, two, three, four. And then you're going to work a single crochet into the next stitch. So you just want a single crochet there. Again, you want to chain four. One, two, three, four. And work a single crochet into the next stitch. And all you want to do is have a total of eight of the chain four loops. So there's two and then one, two, three, four. Single crochet into the next stitch. One, two, three, four. Single crochet into the next stitch. One, two, three, four. And just repeat until you have eight chain four sp chain spaces. So there's one, two, three, four, five. I just need three more. There's one, two, three, four. Again, single crochet in the next stitch. Chain four. One, two, three, four. Single crochet into the next stitch. I'm just going to count them again. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I just need one more. I'm going to chain one, two, three, four, and then just single crochet into the next stitch, and then I want to finish off. And I do want to leave a long enough tail for sewing, so I'm going to leave quite a bit, even if there's extra left over, that's more than enough. That would be perfect, so you cut here, and then just finish off by pulling the long piece all the way through and securing off. So go ahead and finish your second eye. And then I will meet you at the end of that to go to move on to the nose. Here I am at the end of my two owl eyes. I do have both eyelashes put on. So before we work the nose, I do want to go ahead and put on the pupil of the owl eye. Those will go down right directly into the center by embroidering them on. You do need your yarn needle or your needle or whatever it is that you're going to use. You also need your blue yarn. Go ahead and th 
thread your needle and then you're going to need as much yarn as you think I'm just gonna pull some hopefully I'll pull enough to do both eyes go ahead and cut it off and you're ready to embroider the pupil now you want the eyelashes off to the side so you're going to start with your needle in the back and you're going to push up through the stitch here and then just pull all the way through until you just have a little bit in the back which that's how much I'll keep back there and then you just want to make it go straight up and down so you just want to find a stitch up here I'm going to go to about right here stick the needle down and, just, and then just pull all of the yarn through and you're basically just going to continue to do that until you have enough thickness for the eye pupil so just pulling it back through coming up with it pulling it all the way through you still have your extra back here holding on to that and then going to the side of it here into the same hole but off to the side and just pulling all the way through and then just continuing that making it thick enough for a pupil just like I have done here so just continue that and I will meet you at the end go ahead and do both eyes and I will meet you at the end of the second eye Okay, here I am at the end of the second eye that I embroidered, remembering not to pull too tight but embroider it loosely. I didn't finish this one off so I can finish it off with you. So I'm going to take my two yarns ends and I'm going to tie a knot and then I'm going to tie a surgical knot around the second one which you loop and then you loop again and pull tight. And then I'm going to do that one more time where I loop it through loop again, pull tight and then I'm going to go ahead and cut it and you don't need to worry about this because you are going to sew it to the eye so you won't be able to see it and there you have your eyes made now we want to move on to the nose so for the nose go ahead and pick back up your crochet hook and this one you want orange and here I have my orange yarn I'm going to make a slip knot then I want to put my hook on and chain five so here we go with one two three four five then you want to single crochet into the second chain from the hook and each chain across so I'm going to skip the first chain single crochet into the second chain from the hook there's one and then each chain across there's two, three, and one more for a total of four. Now I want to chain one and turn. And then I want to do a single crochet decrease. So you want to go ahead and stick your hook into the first stitch, pull up a loop, stick your hook into the second stitch, pull up another loop you will have three loops on your hook and you want to pull through wrap pull through all three one decrease made again you want to do one more single crochet decrease you're going to stick your hook into the next stitch pull up a loop stick your hook into the last stitch pull up a third loop wrap and pull through all three loops single crochet decrease made chain one turn and now you want to decrease one more time so you're going to stick your hook in the stitch pull up a loop stick your hook into the next stitch wrap pull up a loop you have three loops on the hook now you want to wrap pull through all three single crochet decrease made now you're going to be working on the edging you just want a single you just want to chain one and turn and then you're going to single crochet basically even, evenly all the way around making sure to put two single crochets into the corner stitches. So evenly would just be 
finding the next space here working around and you want to single crochet there again into the next stitch evenly single crochet around find the next stitch and cro single crochet now you're at the corner so you want to do two single crochets into the corner stitch and there's one and two now working across the bottom you just want to single crochet into the next stitch single crochet into the next stitch you are back at your corner you just want to do two single crochets into the corner there's one and there's two and then now you're working up the side here you're going to single crochet there and just evenly space it. it might be hard to see but as long as you just evenly space you'll be fine one there and looks like one more here And then you just kind of want to find the next stitch and join, which would be this stitch here for me. You just want to join by pulling all the way through. This tail can now be cut off because I did crochet around it. And then before you cut this off, you just want to leave a long enough tail to sew it onto the mask. Cut there. And then I just want to pull it all the way through. And here you have your nose made. And you can see that it's like a triangular shape. That's what you need. Now to sew everything onto the mask, so you want to get your eyes. And you want to get your mask. Now you're ready to sew everything on right side facing you. you just kind of want to put your pieces on where you think you're going to have them sewed on so get your eye again the eyelashes will be off to the side so you got one eye here and then you have another eye on this side and then your nose So I have all my pieces lined up on my mask. That's where I know that I want to stitch them all. So I'm going to start with this eye here. I want to get my long piece of yarn from the eye and go ahead and thread it onto your needle. There it is threaded on. Move my hook and my scissors and all the other pieces out of the way just want to be working with the mask in one eye for now. I have this set onto my mask here where I want it and now I'm just going to be stitching all the way around and because this is white and your mask is white you won't be able to see it on the back. So as soon as you have it where you want it go ahead and start stitching and to begin, I have my yarn here. I'm going to bring my yarn and go down into the space here and just push it all the way through to the back and just pull it all the way through. And then you, just, you can just pull it tight and you won't even be able to tell that that's where you ended. Now I'm just going to work all the way around into the stitch in between the white stitch here and just work all the way around just by going up and down. So I want to come back up through my mask and through the stitch here and pull tight. And I'm going to go back down through the next stitch here, just back down through the other side and making sure not to work into the yellow but into the white part of the mask and just pulling tight. And I am going to continue that all the way around these stitches and I will meet you up to here. So go ahead and pause here. Continue to sew it in by going up and down and I will meet you at this point. Here I am at the last few stitches continuing to work up and down through the work. I'm going to go back up and through the stitch here. 
go back down here. And now I'm ready to work around the eyelash area. So I haven't secured that in yet. I don't want to secure down my eyelashes, so this is where I'm going to work. I'm going to bring my needle back up through right here. And then I just want to go across down into the stitch here. Bring it back up through the stitch here. And go back down through the stitch here. And just continue that. Come up through the stitch here. And go back down through the stitch here. Right in the middle of that stitch. Back up through this next one here. And back down through this one here. Again through here. Back down here. And up through here. And you're at the beginning where you first stitched, so you just go back down to the other side of your mask. Now you can see that my eyelashes are not sewed on, but mm, the rest of my work is. So your eyelashes can stick up. Now instead of making any knots in the back of my work, all I want to do is just run this through and tuck it in. That will secure it enough and it will not come undone and I'm, I'm pretty, um, I'm okay with that. I have faith in my work and that's what I'm going to do. You just want to run it through a few stitches here. So keep going to hide this tail so there's no knots made. Go down through a few here. Just however you want to tuck this in without making knots feel free. It will secure it, it will hold it, and it will not come undone. And I'm pretty certain of that. Well, I just want to do a few more. Coming back the same direction I just came. Pulling it through. And I'm pretty confident I'm going to go ahead and cut it off right here. And here you have your first owl eye sewed on. Now you just want to repeat that on the other side by getting your second eye, putting it where you want to sew it, and then sewing it the same exact way you just sewed this, and continuing to sew it in the eye around the eyelashes to where they can pop up, but you don't see the pink in there. I'm going to go ahead and sew on this eye. I will meet you at the end. Go ahead and pause the video now. Okay, here I have my second eye sewn on. Now to sew on the nose, I've already have my orange threaded and I have my nose here. You want to go ahead and place it on here where you're going to sew it on. And I'm going to sew it just so that the tip is barely popping out there and sew it on about right here so that the tip of the nose doesn't pop out too far. And I'm going to go ahead and just sew. You will see a little bit of the orange on the other side but it's not going to be a big deal because you do wear that against your face. So I'm going to start with sewing it in right here. Just pulling through and then coming up through this stitch here and then I'm just going to work across just through my nose just going up and down oops so going back down and then coming back up so the back side looks like this I'm just going to come back up through the stitch here 
and then go back down through about right here. Come up here. And then here I just want to work by sewing it around the edge and ending up back over here. So I want to go back down right here. And then, like I said, I'm just going to keep coming up and down through my nose, just going around the edge. I'm going to continue this going around. Go ahead and pause here, continue to stitch on your nose, and I will meet you at the end over here. Here I have the owl nose sewed on. I'm just going to go ahead and run it through a few stitches in the back. You can't see the orange too much. I'm just going to do the same thing that I did with the white and just run it through a few stitches between the nose. There won't be any knots. Okay, I'm pretty confident in that. I'm just going to cut off my tail. And there you have the nose and the eyes sewn on. And all you can see is a little bit of the orange, but again, you're just going to put that against your face, so it's no big deal. Now you just want to go ahead and tuck in your yellow, just by running it across a few stitches. Thread your needle. And to do this, I'm going to go ahead and run it down through a stitch here. Pull tight so it makes it even and flush in the front. And then I'm just going to run it through stitches up here at the top. Just go across, pulling it through a few stitches. Pulling it tight and secure, and then going back down through the stitches. Pulling it tight, and then just cutting it off. So you're almost complete with your mask. Now all you have to do, cut a little stray piece there that popped out. Just trim that. But now all you have to do is get your elastic and then you just want to measure it around. Um, if you're making this for yourself, you just want to measure it around your head. I have a dummy head here. So you just want to put it in the back of the head. Bring it up to the sides of the eyes to see how much you need. And this looks about good, so I'm going to cut off a little bit extra, so that way I have enough to tie. I'm going to cut it off about right here. Flip my mask around, and you really don't need anything to put it in, but I'm going to put it in the side stitches here. I'm just going to guess. I'm going to put it down through this side into the side stitch here and then just go back up one more stitch here and bring it through and then I just want to tie it here and then do your surgical knot where you wrap once wrap twice And pull tight to secure. And you just want to bring it back over to this side and kind of try to get it even. Push it down through a stitch here. Bring it back up the next stitch here. Go ahead and fit it on your head now to see how tight you do need it. I'm going to say about right there for my head and I'm just going to tie and then surgical knot where you wrap where you wrap it through oops you wrap it through once wrap it through twice 
and pull tight to secure. You can go ahead and trim these as short as you want them. And there you have your owl eye mask made, your night owl eye mask made. If you have any questions, comments, please feel free to leave them. And again, this is D with crochettalk.com.